everyone and welcome back to the channel so today i thought i would share with you part two ish of the office it's basically everything that's in the baskets the drawers you know behind me um not much has really kind of changed in here besides um the shelf i finally found a shelf and then the two columns on the side are actually part of the living room but we don't have a place for them right now or have to decipher where we're going to put them right now so they're just going to be part of the office in the meantime um i don't have anything particular on them this one's empty this one just has a precious moments that i need to find a place for i bought that one used from i think it was a goodwill or like one of those little stores i'll show you how i have everything organized maybe it'll help at least one person out there so yes let's get started for this drawer i have my bobbin thread um, I just got, this was just given to me uh, recently because I needed a small one and thank you. I now got a bunch of different sizes. On here I have my pins, my embroidery bobbins. This one is a mixture of all kinds of scissors. This was given to my grandmother so I keep that near me at all times. And pencils, like you, I just need pencils. <laughs> In this drawer I have all my unfinished projects. These are projects that just need to be basically started and finished or just finished. This is a baby outfit. If I get it done, I will give it away um, as a gift. But basically, that's everything that is in this drawer. It's just easier to keep it on top and just when I have time, pull something out and finish it. In this drawer, I have a lot of embroidery. Um, these are actually for the silhouette. Um, they're blades. But everything else in here is hoops and stabilizers and the tape. Everything is for embroidery. Um, this is the biggest hoop that came with my machine. That's the 5x7. And I can always purchase the smaller one, but I just really don't use it because I can just use that one instead. Please same for this drawer. It is all stabilizers. So in this drawer, I have all my um, snaps. This is to remove the snaps. If you use snaps, get one of these. Um, it's a snap remover and it's great. It saves you time and you don't get to suffer trying to remove them. It can be very stressful sometimes try, trying to remove one of these without damaging your item. So um, other than that, I have my needles, uh, tags, um, little accessories or things I need to use, and my little bows for my wax melts are actually underneath in there. I try to keep everything nicely organized and neatly in place. For the next door, I have a lot of serger thread. Now these are mostly by colors. I have all my blues, black, grays, browns, purples in here, if I'm not mistaken. I also have some elastic here. Now, this I got from Diaper Stone Supplies. They're no longer in business. I wish they were still there, but they're not. Um, more elastic, some oil for the machine. Um, this comes with the embroider machine, sewing machine. Um, they're just little things for you to um, unscrew and clean them up and things like that. And then I have some glue and um, sprays and things like that. I find that this is my colorful <laughs> drawer. I have more um, serger thread here. And on the side here, you have all my sewing thread. I get all of mine from online. I really love the quality, the color, and how it holds up. Um, but yeah, this basket is, or I'm sorry, this drawer is my last drawer with all my serger and sewing thread. These are the second most colorful drawers. I have all my embroidery thread as you can tell a lot of these are still in their packaging they're brand new um here you can see a lot of the blue colors underneath you can see that i have the other colors now sometimes i keep this in order and sometimes i don't these are actually not in any particular order they're just sitting in here um and then i have a third drawer with the more darker colors um Grays, black, blue, uh, no, grays, black, purplish. Um, I don't think there's any blue back there. Um, so this is what you see behind me. I have my sewing machine, cameo, and embroidery machine up there. On the side here, I actually have all of the wax melts, fragrance oils. Um, these are basically from the smallest, which is one ounce to four ounces to um, eight ounces and then down here I have all of the glitters now this is for wax melts and this is all for um, on this side for my Christmas ornament I sometimes mix my own to kind of 
get something a little bit different. A lot of these I have either purchased at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Um, it depends the store because some stores will bring different colors than others. And if you can get your hands on them. Um, this is the container that I usually fill up when I'm going to do wax melts. It holds quite a bit so I just fill it all the way up to the top and then that way when I'm measuring it on the scale I don't have a big old bag with me. I just have exactly what I need in there. Um, I have purchased this for glitter to put some glitter in there and just kind of like tap it on my wax melts but I have not used it yet. Um, this is for my mom's wedding. And then I have all these little things for wax melts. Um, I use little spoons to get the colors for the wax melts out. Um, they work out really, really well. I think I got them from Walmart for like a dollar or less. Um, and they're perfect for what I need them for. So, but other than that, that's basically everything that's in here. Okay. So on this side, I have mostly shipping supplies. I have just regular envelopes, mailing envelopes. These I use for Christmas time. Usually when someone purchases an ornament, I'll put a little baggie in there with some tissue paper in case they're giving it away as a gift. A lot of times that's the case. Um, so I have a couple of those. I love these. So you can find a pack of these at Ross for a really good price. It'll bring you sometimes 10 or 20 of them. So if you're looking for um, cute little ideas within a budget, this actually works out really, really well. Um, I have more envelopes over here. These are the harder ones. I use those mainly for stickers. And then I have just regular post office envelopes right there. So for the first basket, I have a couple of things in here. I have all the baby onesies that I have kept so far. Some more crafting supplies. This actually goes to my embroidery machine. Um, it allows you to have two threads prepped to go. So instead of just using the one that the machine has, I have the option of having the other two mixed colors on there. I have used this when I have a lot of embroidering to do. But when it's just a single item, I, I really don't. But it's convenient. It's actually kind of nice to have. This is actually a project that I haven't finished for these buckets. I think I got them off of Amazon. Um, I saw an idea that I really, really liked. I just have to get to it. I bought this to try to make some candles myself. Um, I think this is either from Walmart or Hobby Lobby or something like that. Um, so I bought a couple of things to try out the candles. Um, and this came with a couple of the... Um, so silicon molds for the wax melts and basically this store just kind of has a little bit of everything For this basket. I have all my patterns in here. There's actually stacked bins and on the top one I have baby um, Female and then male adult patterns in there. So basically that's everything that is in here This includes my cloth diaper patterns with this basket I have everything that is actually finished and ready for shipping I do have it separated and sorted so I have part of the head bins here, the rest of them over there. This is baby gift I am working on, and these are baby um, outfits that should be listed on Etsy. I have to go through these, and then some more cloth diapers. But this is everything that's ready to ship, and this is part of the gift I'm working on. This basket, it basically has all my, um, I have some shipping labels in there, um, some paperwork. Some of these I've been experimenting with the canvas and see if I can get some things done with this. Some crafting paper, scrapbook paper. In this basket we have um, just the rest of the shipping supplies. These boxes were a little too big to fit on that side over there so I just placed them here. I also have all my bags for shipping as well. Um, depending on what it is again, that's what I'm going to use for shipping. And that's basically it for this basket. There's not a whole lot of excitement within these baskets up here. In this basket, I have more wax melt items, and um, these I use for melting the wax melt, some of the molds, some gloves, and that's basically just about everything that's in here. This is the new one. It's a bigger one. I don't think I used that one yet so far, so I do need to clean it up before I use it. In this basket, I had more packaging things for wax melt. All of this, if I find it, I'll link it down below. Um, but again, there's not much of a s exciting or excitement <laughs> within these baskets. These are more storage purpose and um, it just keeps things nice and tidy and organized. In this basket, I actually have all the wax for the wax melts. I keep it um, in the basket. I just find that it's easier just to keep here. I do have two bags in here. I have a five pound and a 10 pound, or is it 10 pound and a 30 pound? I think it was or something like that. So these, this basket is very, very heavy. I have it on the bottom because it's just easier just to kind of pull it out and just let it lay against the carpet. Um, but this is basically all the um, the wax for the wax melts. In this basket, I have all my pre-made wax melts. So these have been done. I You're supposed to make them and keep them for a little bit. And then you, they're ready to go to be used. 
So I have them here. I have the same type of um, little containers that I use for the patterns. There's three in here total, and they work out really well because I can just grab this handle, pull all that out, and um, keep walking with it. But all my wax melts that are made already are sitting here in this basket. The next basket that you see here, I've got basically um, just my clear Christmas ornaments that are out of the box. I add these when you purchase one. I add these on there, so I have that as well. Um, I love these. I love the way they look on the Christmas tree, so I've been sticking with these um, for the hooks. And then I got a couple other things. So down here, I have more shipping supplies, basically. Um, I have this for stuffing items. I usually don't stuff. I don't sell anything that's, that has stuffing in it. More for like making things for my son or gifts. I have some bubble wrap, some postal service um, boxes, same here. And this is a box ready to go for wax melts. I have some printer paper, tissue, chalkboards. I have a plan for that. This is what I use for the business to follow away my orders and things like that. The scale, some more um, packaging items. And then I have my headphones up there. I use those when I'm editing or working out. And um, a couple other things. But one thing that you might find curiously down here is these Christmas ornaments. Now, I've been working on these for two years now. These are the embroidery threads that are left over. Excuse you, ma'am, with your poofy tail. Uh, sir, excuse you, young man. Uh, thank you. <laughs> that is Sophia and Slick playing together. That's basically uh, everything that's like either in the baskets, the drawers, back there. Um... Nothing very uh, crazy besides lots of sewing, embroidery, search of thread, needles, labels, packaging supplies, and the non-exciting things that you sometimes have. But to me, thread is very exciting because obviously the colors are beautiful and once you have a project done, it's really nice. Um, there's a few things that I would really recommend that you have out of those would be the snap remover. It's a lifesaver, I'm telling you. It saves you so much time and your life will be less stressed with it because um, once you mess up on one snap and you don't want to ruin your fabric it just get one again i wanted to show um these um listen i know it's weird but if i can fix this one i will if not i'll start a new one but once it's all done it just kind of creates a ring of different colors and it's really really pretty and i just want to put it on um the tree this was the uh, serger one, just the regular white um, thread on it. And then this is the one for those headbands that turn out so beautifully. And this is what that one looks like. Um, so I'm going to think of something to put on them. Other than that, um, that's going to wrap up this video. There wasn't anything really all that exciting. That's why I really didn't put too much effort into the baskets because I knew that stuff in there it's just boring <laughs> but i want to thank you all for watching hopefully i will get the next video done pretty quickly which is going to be the embroidery on um the diaper and then we're going to move on to the last few steps which is snaps pinning sewing turning top stitching elastic and ready for baby um i'm excited to see the design i'm still wondering if these colors are going to work together but We'll see how it goes. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video.